wow did I get a lot of comments on my video, Jesus was not a Jew. And I didn't know who any of these people were. I felt like Patrick coming home from grocery shopping. Who are you people? Now this was weird because I only shared the video on Twitter and some group chats where I knew that there would be some like-minded people there. So this tells me that the video was picked up by the algorithm and shown to people that it knew specifically would take umbrage with this video and want to comment, even though the like ratio was majority positive. So let's first go over my favorite comments from Dr. Walm GC, stupid name. You confuse being a Jew with being Pharisee or a Sadducee. You probably know nothing about fractions within Judaism during Christ's time. Have you even heard of Essenes? Have I heard of Essenes? Listen here, fuckface. There were three sects of Jews during the time of Christ. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the Essenes. The Essenes were actually not Jewish. That is a common misconception, and I'm about to prove to you why. All right, so arguably the best records we have of the Essenes comes from Philo of Alexandria, who was a philosopher from Alexandria. So this is what he has to say about him. And he didn't know them directly. This is not a first-hand account. He says that in Palestinian Syria, there was a populous nation of the Jews. And there were a certain persons, more than 4,000 in number, called Essenes. Their name is a variation, he says, from Greek, which means holiness is given to them because they have shown themselves especially devout in the service of God, not by offering sacrifices of animals, but by resolving sanctity of their minds. Right here. Do you think that there were any Jews in the Old Testament era that were not sacrificing animals? I find that really hard to believe. But let's continue. The first thing about these people is that they live in villages and avoid the cities because of the iniquities which have become inveterate among city dwellers. Right? I know this is going to sound like a ridiculous, like ignorant argument, but have you ever heard of a group of Jews that avoid the city because they're afraid of the degeneracy? Uh, for they know that their company would have had a deadly effect upon their own souls, like a disease brought by a pestilential atmosphere. Some of them labor on the land. Labor on the land. Yeah, sorry, bro, but that does not fit the tribe at all. But for those who are initiated, you know exactly where I'm coming from, that this sort of Chad meme argument actually is sound. Um... All others pursue such crafts as cooperate with peace and so benefit themselves and their neighbors. They do not hoard gold and silver. Okay, this is the smoking gun right here. You're telling me that there's a group of Jews who do not hoard gold or silver or acquire slices of land because they desire the revenue therefrom and they don't want to be landlords, um, but provide what is needed for the necessary requirements of life. For while they stand almost alone in the whole of mankind in that they have become moneyless and landless by deliberate action rather than by lack of good fortune, they are esteemed exceedingly rich because they judge frugality with contentment to be as indeed it is an abundance of wealth. He's saying they have an abundance of wealth of spirit. So yeah, here's some notes that I was taking about the Essenes. John the Baptist was also thought to be an Essene as well because he lived in the wilderness just like the Essenes. And the Essenes were also known for healing, which fits with Christ. So here's the Essenes Wikipedia page. It says, some researchers suggest that Essene teachings could have influenced other religious traditions, such as early Christianity, like Marcionism. And Philo also said that the Essenes were amongst the oldest of initiates. They go back thousands of years, and they got a lot of their teachings from Central Asia, as in Persia and Tibet which is the motherland of the Aryan people, according to the German National Socialists, who deeply researched this. That's why there was a 1938 German expedition to Tibet, because they knew that's where Aryans come from. And I'm reading this book right now, too, called The Aryan Jesus, where it talks about how Swiss linguist Adolf Pictet said the original Aryans possessed a unique kind of monotheism, mostly lost over time, but preserved in Zoroastrianism and revived by Christianity. And like I said, the Essenians, they gained their knowledge, as Philo has said, as Pliny has said, from Central Asian Persia, which fits around the time of the Zoroastrian religion, which, as many scholars know, has its roots in the Proto-Aryan religions. So... Proto-Aryan religions, Zoroastrianism, then influenced Christianity. 
Christianity is a continuation of our Aryan roots. Connected from Zarathustra, from Zoroastrianism, back to our Proto-Aryan ancestors. And the Essenians are a part of that lineage. I say this because there's three things that the Essenes did that the Jews did not do in the Old Testament, but then Christ did them. That would be giving communion. That's not in the Old Testament. That's not Jewish. That'd be baptism in water, which is not a Jewish practice, and the 40 days in the wilderness, which is an Essene ritual. So communion, that's an Essene ritual. Baptism in water, Essene ritual. 40 days in wilderness, Essene ritual. None of those are Jewish, Pharisee, Sadducee rituals. You can say that, yeah, their religious order, it existed for thousands of years. So they definitely most likely dabbled in the, re in the religion of Judaism. But a lot of the Essenians themselves, I promise you, they were not ethnically Jewish. The Essenians wanted nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the Pharisees or the Sadducees. All right, so anyway, back to more comments. Um, a lot of the comments were the same. It's basically saying, oh, you know, Matthew and Luke provide genealogies to prove he is the Jewish Messiah. You guys need to watch my video on Marcion and the Marcion priority and read up on the priority of the Gospel of Marcion. And there's theologians who are proponents of this priority, like Marcus Vincent and Matthias Kinghart. And they say that Mark, Matt, John, and Luke all come from Marcion's gospel. And Marcion, for those who don't know, is the one who actually gathered all of Paul's epistles and Luke and brought it to Pope Pius I in Rome. So my rebuttal of this is to point to the priority of the gospel of Marcion. And several theologians agree with this, such as Matthias Kinghart and Marcus Vincent. So Marcion, also pronounced Marcion of Sinope, is considered to be the founder of an early Christian movement called Marcionism. He is regarded by numerous scholars as having produced the first New Testament canon. That's actually just like mainstream Christian info, which included a gospel called the Evangelion, which he acquired or significantly developed. And that's the question. People will say, did he have the original Luke and the original Paul's epistles, or did he edit them? And according to theologians like Matthias Kinghart and Marcus Vincent, he had the originals. I also believe he had the originals. His father was a man named Philologus, and he was listed in the Bible as one of Christ's 72 disciples, different from the 12 disciples. So his father knew Christ personally. So he brought the original New Testament Bible to Pope Pius I in Rome. And Pope Pius took his Bible and kicked Marcion out of the church because he said he was heretical because he believed in a demiurge and archons, which gets a little bit too into Gnosticism for the mainstream Catholic Church. But Marcion, just to be clear, did not consider himself a Gnostic. So it is said, and according to these theologians, that the original Paul's epistles and Luke were then Judaized sometime between Marcion bringing it to Pope Pius I and the, after the Council of Nicaea. And that's why we see all this added Jewish information in the New Testaments today. That was not originally there when Marcion brought that information to Rome. I wholeheartedly believe this. Um, this is what I believe. This is what a lot of people believe if you want more information on this, join my telegram, and I can point you in the right direction. So I might get to other comments later. That's about all the energy I have just going over those two comments because that pretty much sums up the majority of what the comments were. They were saying like, oh, he's Jewish because of this thing in the New Testament, or they brought up the Essenes. That sort of encapsulates most of the comments. So thank you for listening to my video. I'll be back soon. Make sure to join my Telegram community and follow me on X. I'm HeritageFirst83.